Okay, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. If you did not catch yesterday's episode, I'm continuing right from yesterday's episode. And we had just made a delivery. And let's take a look at our marketplace, see what we can find. We got, we want to be heading out of here. And we want to try to hit these last two. I've only got two more cities in Montana before I've hit all of them. And then we're probably, let's see, I do have an Idaho. And I have a, a, a Wyoming that I haven't hit. So I've got a couple in Colorado. I've got all of Utah. New Mexico, I have a few. Texas, I think we're heading down to Texas after we are done with Montana. Because as you can see, I've not hit any of them. We could hit these New New Mexico heading down into Texas, and then we'll be hanging out in Texas for quite a few episodes, knocking those out. We'll see if we can hit these Idaho ones too. Uh, maybe deliver some potatoes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see where we got. Um, these are going to be short runs, so uh, let's see. Tom, let's again. I don't that. Let's see. Should be short runs because they're fairly close. Oh, here we go. That'd be good because then maybe I can hit this um, Thompson's Falls on the way back. Okay, we will hit that one up. It'd be nice if it was in the same same lot. Fertilizer. Okay. Yeah, it's not at the same lot, so let's get ourselves turned around here. I don't think I can drive straight through unless I can. No, I can't. There's a trailer in the way. I like how they got guys standing around once in a while. Be cool if they're moving though, or walking around and stuff. Okay. yesterday's episode. Remember to go check that out. Um, also, if you did not see yesterday's episode, make sure you go over to my channel and check out the, the chipmunk video. Uh, Mother Chipmunk had her three babies out and I got a whole bunch of footage of the little adorable little buggers uh, playing around their hole and exploring for the first time. Plus, if you didn't catch yesterday's episode, we've got the long train mod uh, now, improved train sound and the ability to have quarter mile long uh, trains, which is cool for aspects like this where we're seeing the train like moving alongside the road. I'm not too sure how thrilled I'm going to be once I'm sitting waiting for a quarter mile or a mile, half mile long train to go through a crossing that I might need to go through. But as of right now, it's cool. <laughs> we can see those long trains hanging out on tracks along us. Plus, if you have not gotten a chance to check out the video, uh, one thing after another, it was. Uh, one of those days, it just seemed like everything was kind of going wrong. That guy would have cut me off. That would have been one of them. But uh, it was probably my most viewed truck simulator video. I think it was uh, like 350 views as of this morning. So after like 12 hours or something like that. So it was really good. Um, 
thank you to everybody that watched that one. Oh, appreciate it. And especially everybody that's watching this video. And the last video and the video before. When you do watch them, be sure to remember to smash that like button if you did enjoy watching the video. Plus, you know, I would love to hear from you. You know, just any questions or just, you know, just say hi. That's, you know, I'd appreciate to hear from you. I've got the, got the subscriber count, but I'm looking for my 4,000 watch hours right now. I'm at like 2,000. 2,260 or something like that, and I need four. So every minute you watch, I really appreciate it. You know, even if you don't watch, <laughs> just kind of set it off on the going on a, uh, an iPad, which I, I do that myself. You know, my my mom's iPad. I'll set it. Let it play. <laughs> Usually glance down and watching it, but YouTube doesn't make it easy. They don't show the video to very many people. And it'd be cool if like in the first like within the first week they would show it each video to like a million people. It's like just pop it up on a million people's screens for just, you know, maybe for an hour a day for, for the first week over a million um, channels. It's not real hard to, to just throw up, you know, uh, yeah, we get millions of them put on, uploaded a day, you know, but still, just to have it go up there on a million people's pages throughout a week. Because when I've noticed that if my videos are shown, it gets watched. But for some reason, they don't show it very long. And they only show it to a few people. just saw that as I was starting to turn the corner I noticed that street lamp I thought I took that car pretty sharp but start the video like it did that last one the one thing after another video I cut out like 20 minutes of Austin Power style back and forth just to get out of a building what am I caught on quite as bad. Don't have to cut out 20 minutes of video. It is a long trailer.
was overcast when I got up this morning and now it's kind of sun starting to peek out which I think it's gonna get supposed to get pretty warm today which which I'm not excited about but should be good for getting the pontoon boat in the water which when this video comes out it'll already be in the water because currently I'm recording this is Monday and this one will probably be released on Tuesday or Wednesday Depends on uh, timing for editing.
might be a good idea. for a farm I was uh, managing their hives and we had a big yard set up next to the next to the farm well there was farmer fields all around and not tied to the farm that I was working for well we had this helicopter flying over spraying the field they didn't warn us or anything we had our bees set up right along the right along their area where they were spraying didn't make us too happy because we unfortunately it didn't seem to kill any of them that we could tell but it just would have been nice to have had some warning where we could have maybe covered the hives or something so that they wouldn't have uh, caught the blunt of the poison they were spraying on the fields
Okay, well that was pretty cool. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to needing to stop for... I think, is that a bed up ahead? Can't really tell if this is a blue... Oh no, that's me. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to stop pretty soon here. Because I'm getting pretty tired. So that's where I was talking about in the last episode, where it'd be nice if you could stop anywhere. Like, there should have been a spot where I could have pulled off there. Maybe at the Holiday Inn that was on the side of the road. You know, it just stay in the motel. Stay in the inn. Stay somewhere along the road that's out of the way of other people. something about where the placement was for the for the mirrors on the Mack truck just could not drive it with the Kenworth I can sit normal and actually see the mirrors and those little mirrors I never really thought I would use those of, off the hood there those I use a lot also Oh, you kidding? It was, it was green that whole time. Oh, is everybody turning? <laughs> well, see, that's the way the law is. Uh, you're not supposed to, you know, they sh could have gotten over to where we could have gone. To, people are going straight, but my brother got a ticket for that once. Where he was, because the line was so far back, he went over the yellow line to get into line so people could get past him, but he got pulled over and got a ticket for that, which I don't know if he got, actually got, I can't, why can't I remember that? I, I know he got pulled over, I can't remember if they gave him the ticket or they gave him a warning, I'm pretty sure they gave him a ticket for it, but it's just that 
if, you know, you should add it longer if they're going to realize that the, you know, the traffic's going to get bad on certain roads. They need to have longer turn lanes. job but well that's 90 per 90 plus yeah that no not with this long trailer try to get that parked in there would drive me nuts yeah we'll do the 15 XP funny thing is I was looking into becoming an actual truck driver in the real life but I'm glad I didn't because I wouldn't have liked to have been on the road all the time especially now that I'm getting older I don't see in the dark so I would have to make sure I'm not driving it in the dark and I don't really care much for driving anymore like I did when I was younger Plus, I'm not good with stick shift. Most trucks seem to be stick shift. Find a semi truck that's automatic. <laughs> I just pretty much just got on that not too long ago actually um, yeah it was a short run 135 miles um, only 18 gallons only took 27 minutes so okay well thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it. remember smash that like button comment down below what you thought and I will talk to you later